Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for December 30th to January the 5th, 2014. I'm actually going to be using the Goddess Guidance cards by Doreen Virtue, mainly because as I was picking a deck to you today, these fell on the floor and I've never used them for you before in a weekly reading. So let's see what they have to say for us as we end this year and begin a new one. Okay, here we go. Here's the first card for Monday and Tuesday. Very interesting card. Diana, focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. So this is the, the angels and the goddesses reminding us that the beginning of the week as we close this year, it's a great time for us to set our intentions for what we desire in the coming days, weeks, months and the rest of the year. So it's also really important they're saying to stay true to your heart, to stay true to yourself, even if you're not sure how it's gonna happen or if other people around you are perhaps being a little naysayerish about everything, to really stay clear about what it is that you desire. And knowing that as we set our intentions, we are literally opening up our energy, opening up the doors. We're saying yes to the goddesses and to the angels and to all of the universe's help to making that so. That what we want is really already here and that when we decide that we are open to it, when we allow that to happen, miracles happen. Okay, so the this next couple of days particularly, be clear about what it is that you want, okay? All right. And coming into the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, as we start this new year, it's interesting because I've always called 2013 the year of the goddess because 13 is the number of the goddess. But obviously Aphrodite is reminding us that it's still the year of the goddess. Any time can be the year of the goddess. And Aphrodite says, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity. So this is perfect as we go into the new year because um, she's really all about celebrating who we are. She's really about love, love and relationships, of course. Most people know Aphrodite for that reason, but loving ourselves, really taking care of ourselves and doing what feels good, whether that be physically deciding to make some changes, whether that's really deciding to be more open to your femininity if you're a woman, and if you're a man, being knowing that the balance of your feminine energy is so very important, to allow that softer side of yourself to come through. Your, your femininity is all about receiving as well. So when we're open to our feminine energy, when we're expressing our feminine energy, we're also allowing ourselves to receive that which we desire, of course, okay? So that's the middle of the week and the first two days of 2014. And of course, you can call on these goddesses to help you at any time during the week and the rest of the year. Aphrodite is a wonderful goddess. She's so passionate. She's so loving and she really helps us to be who we truly are. Okay, so interestingly, I'm laughing because I don't know what these cards are going to be, but this is Hatha and she is confirming being receptive right now is so important. As we go into the weekend uh, for the first part of January to know that we deserve to receive. And it says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So as I said, receiving is so important for the balance of our energy, for our well-being, And to know that as this card says, that as we receive, we have more to give. I know that's how I've changed my relationship with money and so many other things about receiving. Because I realized that in order for me to do the thing and to be the things that I wanted to be, I had to allow myself to ask for help to receive when I needed it, okay? So knowing that as we receive, we have even more to give and your affirmation for the coming days, for the for the weekend, for any time I feel when we're wanting to stay open to all of our blessings can be, I am open to receiving in all ways. I deserve to receive. I know that as I receive, I have even more to give. I am worthy of all blessings. 
I am now open to receiving my true heart's desires in this physical life. I am open to receiving all the love, all the support, all the prosperity, all the time, all of the energy, whatever it is that I need, I'm open to receiving it right now. Okay, so you can be more specific about that, but that's also just a really good way instantly to to shift your energy out of perhaps feeling a little bit hesitating about receiving, okay? So here is actually a fourth card because when I was shuffling the cards, this is one that I do know about that fell out of the deck. Um, and this is an extra card. I always say pay attention to ones that fly out of decks. And this is no exception because it's a perfect message for us as we begin a new year. And that's time for a detoxification of your body and mind. So if you've been one that's been overeating this holiday season, indulging perhaps, or you're feeling a little lackluster perhaps it's time for you to do a detox I would say be careful if you've never physically done a detox or you know change your diet radically always get some advice about that and perhaps do it gently but even if you make the decision just to eat really healthily and drink more water that is incredibly helpful on our energy right now where we're really just wanting to to raise our vibration and to take care of ourselves on an even deeper level i actually like to take sea salt bars or epsom salt bars to detox energetically if I'm feeling a bit bogged down particularly at the beginning of a year or, or the end of the year to, to know that I'm just kind of starting afresh knowing that however 2013 has been for you whether it's been full of blessings in disguise or really obvious blessings just knowing that this is your opportunity to turn the page on that chapter to start a brand new one in fact actually writing a new one is great even if you're not writing a book to actually write your intentions intentions is an incredibly powerful thing to do it's really like really uh, setting that intention that what it is that you're creating is the story that you that you want to see because so many times we can get caught up in what's happened in the past or what hasn't worked or our old disappointments so I ask you to surrender those to let those go and to really begin again this is a fantastic opportunity for us anytime actually any day is an opportunity to begin again but at this particular week this particular moment in time when we are going into a new year let the energy be new let yourself be new you may want to even make some changes you might want to surprise a few people you might want to surprise yourself do something different let this be the time where you decide that 2014 is going to be the best year ever full of miracles love and joy and everything that you could wish for and more let yourself be open to even more there's no limits only the limits that we place on ourselves and actually that that reminds me a lot of what I've spoken about in this reading and that wasn't my intention a lot of what I've spoken about is actually many of the tips that I've just written in a new blog called 14 ways to make 2014 fabulous and you can find the link to that on my website anna-taylor.co.uk I also posted it on my Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash Anna Taylor Music Angel I'll also post the links for you at the bottom of this video Video. So I'm wishing you a wonderful end of 2013, a fabulous beginning, and I will speak to you very soon and of course throughout the rest of the year. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this year and I am so grateful for you. I want you to know that I count you among my biggest blessings and I look forward to sharing so much with you in the coming 12 months. Take care. Much love.